Hey guys, welcome back to Glam Finds, and I'm here to just give you a top five list. A couple of people have asked me this before. My favorite fragrance is from the House of Dapper because I do do some reviews for them on occasion. And I do have five. I think one of them might be a little bit biased because it's a newer one in my collection. So I will review my top fives. I think you guys could probably guess them. But just in case you can't, let's just go ahead and start with this. I am not going to give full review because I think I full reviewed all but two of them and they'll come, but I'm not going to do it all on here. I may talk slightly more about one of them because I didn't really go too much into depth. So let's go. Number five, because I cannot put it higher than five because I don't think that's fair because it's the newest one, is going to be Dapper's version of Killian's Angel Share. Now this is one that could have been a real hit or miss for me because I do not like gourmands, but I like the cinnamon, I like the creaminess from the sandalwood, I like the tonka and the vanilla. The praline to me is toned down by the cinnamon. I definitely get the cognac in here and I like it. Everything just is blended so well that I do enjoy it quite a bit. I think if you're not a gourmand lover, this is still one you're going to like. And I think because of the performance just being so lovely on this, I like it. I can't put it higher than number five because I don't think that's fair because I've had these other ones longer. So let's move on. Next. This next one, I think if I had a little longer than this, probably could have creeped up. It's a really good one. I don't know if you guys have watched this channel before, but I really like fragrances that are sweet to have some freshness to them too. And I get that for sure from Dapper's version of Replica's Coffee Break. So this is a pretty simple fragrance. It's just gonna have milk, coffee, and lavender. And I think if it was just milk and coffee, it probably wouldn't be my favorite, but that lavender just makes it so fresh. And I actually get a lot of compliments with this. I tend to get a lot of compliments with everything that has lavender, which is great because I really enjoy that note. But I'm telling you, if I get compliments with something, it's gonna creep up there. Um, good performer and just a really well-rounded fragrance to me. This one just smells really, it's just really good. It's just really clean got the sweetness, got everything that I want in a fragrance, so I cannot complain about this one at all. Dapper's version of Replica's Coffee Break. Next. So this next one I talked about pretty recently. I think it was, eh, it feels like it was recent. I like this one a lot. I didn't like it on paper that much. I was thinking it was okay. I liked it on my skin, but what I really liked about it was the insane performance and the insane amount of compliments I got with it. And it's going to be Dapper's version of Nishani Fan Your Flames. It's a really good fragrance. I Again, on paper, initially, I was like, it's fine. Like, right now, it's fine right at the atomizer. But on my skin, it smells so good. And all day, through masks, oh, like, across rooms and stuff, people were complimenting me. And that's my style. That is my style of fragrance. I really like it. And I mean, there's really not a lot to say about it. It's a good fragrance. And I don't wear fragrances just for me. I wear them because, you know, fragrances grab attention and hopefully you're trying to get good attention with them. I get that from this. Next. All right, I'd be crazy for not putting this in here because it's really good and it is a performance monster out of every fragrance I have. This is probably the second loudest in my entire collection, not of dappers, just in general. I think it might actually be, it's definitely top three. I know that. I don't know exactly where it lays in the top three, but it's going to be dappers version of Byron Mula Mula. I don't even know if you guys can see this when I put it up here, so I'm going to put the name up anyways, but it is sweet. And I can understand how this would lean gourmand, but it just, it's such a gorgeous fragrance and it's so loud. I told you guys the story about my friend spraying two sprays at work and just choking out everyone in the room. I told her not to. I said, hey, if you're going to spray it, maybe just spray once. I don't feel like two is a good idea. She didn't listen, but it's a good fragrance. <laughs> um, and it stays on your clothes for, I mean, you, you can wash them, but it'll still stay on for another wash. It's so good. 
It's so good. Every time I smell it, I remember how much I love it. The problem is like this can be a really addicting fragrance. I actually got my cousin one of these because out of all my fragrances, she was obviously gravitating towards this one the most. She kept saying, hey, I got to order that. Hey, I got to order that. So I threw it in her stocking or I threw one of them in her stocking for uh, Christmas. And she's a big fan. She's traveling right now and she took it with her. So obviously if you're only taking one fragrance and this is the one you take, you gotta be a pretty good fan of it. I can't stop smelling it. It smells phenomenal. It's got fruit, it's got vanilla. Honestly, there's nothing it doesn't have. I like Moulin Rouge Extreme, but I like this one more. I'm probably always gonna like this one more. I mean, I keep, I keep smelling it. It's really good, honestly. I would totally wear it today if I wasn't filming so many videos today. But that's why it's my number two. Next. So I don't think that this is like a tough one to guess. My absolute favorite from the House of Dapper is going to be Dapper's version of Jazz Club. And as you can tell, this is the only one I have a 60 ml of because I like it so much and it's garnered me a lot of compliments. And this has very sexy to seductive properties, which are very important to me in a fragrance as well as just being a performance monster and lasting forever. I like to wear this anytime I'm going out in the evening because I already know it's going to garner me compliments. It's tried and true and it's going to garner me compliments from everyone. No one specifically because sometimes people don't like certain types of fragrances, but this one has worked consistently. It's not too sweet. It's got a little bit of sweetness. The opening has never been anyone's favorite. The opening was not my favorite, but once this dries down, it is gorgeous. I love it. Honestly, like. It's gonna be in my top 10 for life, this version, because I've been told by people that have both that it performs significantly better than the OG. So I'm not gonna pay for the OG when I have something that I don't have to spray that much of and it'll just perform better, last longer, project better. So these are my top five from the House of Dapper for now. As always, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.